All right, and welcome to The Light and the Arts and Music Journal. We are coming to you from Studio 130 in the heart of South Jersey, and I'm here with the one and only Candice Fields for the uh, opening of her new show. How are you? Very good. Hello, everyone. How are you? I'm great. So for people who are not familiar with your work, how would you describe your artwork? Uh, I would describe it as uh, illustrations uh, within digital painting or I even have some gouache paintings like watercolor work here. But most of it is an illustration where I'm combining things that are opposites together or things that you wouldn't ordinarily see. Like I have one uh, that's out here today and it's like an encounter from aliens but it's mostly like iguanas you don't really understand what's going on but I like to pull things together where you have to think and see what's going on in the imagery. Okay, so for people who familiarize themselves with art like anybody from Andy Warhol to Da Vinci, what's the difference between conventional art or more, um, more traditional art and digital art? Uh, I'd say at this time in life or in, in art, I don't think we have to separate them into all these boxes. All the artists now seem to be using all of these mediums together, and I don't think they're restricted on those different levels. Um, at this point, you can have a printmaker that's working in lithography, but then did a digital printing on top of that printed work after he was done, or you painted on top of it with watercolor. So they're all seem to be collaborative or mixed media. And I don't think it's as restrictive as it was in the past where when an artist was using cardboard or it wasn't archival, then it doesn't count. Uh, I think now everything's blended together and I wouldn't restrict them to all of the conventional, digital. I think it's just art. Okay. Do you have a particular name for your show or this exhibit that we're going to see? Uh, no, right now it's just a spotlight uh, with showing the work that I have presently. It wasn't put together as a thought out theme, so it's all just the different pieces of my illustrations that have happened over the past two years or so. That being the case then, when people see your work, is there a particular message or is there something that you have in mind that you hope people will glean from viewing your work? Uh, I hope they pick up on things like the color and contrast and the line work. Sometimes within the image, since it is uh, depicting something unusual, I think it's more about the looking inward and trying to pick apart what's going on, but not that there's a underlying message that you're supposed to read for from it. It's just uh, an image as it stands for itself and just you picking apart, looking at, you know, how does this relate to this, or how did she do the line work with this person's face, the composition, because what I was looking at when I was doing the work was more of a study on the composition, playing colors, playing opposites, and bringing those things together. Okay, so how can people get in contact with you if they see something that they like and they may want a print or an original or just to contact you and say, yeah, that was dope? All right. Uh, I'm presently on Instagram at Kfields Print, and I have a website that's CandiceFields.com. Uh, that's K-A-N-D-I-C-E-F-I-E-L-D-S dot com. And there, there's a link to all of my social media, access to the shop, access to uh, my little blog and things like that so that you can keep up with what I'm doing. Um, between that and Instagram, you're able to access even uh, available shirts and things like that that show my artwork. So I would just go to the website, CandiceFields.com. And what can we expect to see and hear from Candace Fields in the future? Uh, in the future, I'm pretty working on my print shop, working on the continuation of the digital work, and just exploring new ideas. I'm even making like my own watercolor paints. So lots of just jumping around and making sure that I'm always open to new ideas because they always bring new work to me. Anything you want to add before I let you go? Uh, no, that's it. Just hope you come out. Come to Studio 130 and check out the Spotlight Show or look into some of their paint and sips that are coming up. I know they have a Wu-Tang paint and sip. Come out and enjoy and experience the art. Thanks a lot.